The retina is the nerve tissue that lines the back of the eye and the macula is the very center of the retina. A macular hole is a condition where a hole develops at the macula at the back of the eye. A macular hole is not the same condition as macular degeneration, even though both conditions affect the same point in the eye, namely the macula. Macular holes can cause blurring of central vision, distortion where straight lines look crooked, they can affect reading vision and the ability to judge depth or what we call stereopsis. You may not notice a problem with your vision if you have a macular hole unless you cover your good eye and look out through your bad eye. The most common reason for patients to get macular holes is due to aging. And unfortunately, we can't prevent that. Occasionally, there are other causes of macular holes, namely very high short-sightedness or trauma of patients who have maybe been hit in their eye. The only way that we can treat a macular hole is with surgery and most cases a full thickness macular hole will require surgery, otherwise the vision will continue to deteriorate. And that's usually performed in a hospital, but it can often be performed as a day procedure, so you don't always have to stay in overnight. It's performed under local anesthesia where we numb the eye so that you don't see or feel anything and the operation should be painless. Your anaesthetist may also give you some sedation to keep you nice and relaxed and calm. You'll be lying flat on your back during the operation, which would normally take less than one hour. The operation to repair a macular hole is what we call a vitrectomy. And in a vitrectomy, we remove the vitreous jelly from inside the eye, and then we use microforceps to repair the hole at the back of the eye. At the end of the operation, we put a gas bubble into the eye. And the gas bubble is crucial to help close the hole. Gas floats, and so for the operation to work, we normally ask you to look down for a period of time. That often is perhaps three days, but sometimes longer in certain circumstances. So it's important to speak to your doctor after the operation to know which way he wants you to position and for how long. The gas itself will blur your vision until it dissolves, which usually takes two weeks to two months, and then it will dissipate by itself. During that time, it's very important that you don't get onto an aeroplane or go to high altitudes and mountains because the gas would expand and the pressure would go up in the eye. Removing the vitreous jelly from inside the eye in itself is not harmful to the eye. The only side effect is that it will cause a cataract if you have not yet had cataract surgery. And so removing the jelly from inside the eye does mean that you will need a second cataract procedure, usually within one year of the operation. The chance of closing a macular hole is very good. It's usually over 90%. This usually will be noticed by an improvement in the central vision, but it's important to note that the vision will never be 100% perfect or go back to the way it used to be. Patients generally have better outcomes if they have smaller holes or if the hole hasn't been present for a long period of time. Whether you have surgery or not for macular hole is a discussion you need to have with your surgeon. But in most cases, patients with full thickness macular holes will require surgery, otherwise the vision will continue to deteriorate. To learn more about how to look after your eye following macular hole surgery, please refer to the video on post-operative care following retinal surgery.